The California Fight League Bitter Rivals event played out before a sold out crowd at the High Desert Events Center, the San Bernardino County Fairgrounds in Victorville. The Victor Valley hometown stomping grounds of ring announcer Sonny Franco. Ten high desert fighters on the 13 bout card. Eight of the ten victorious before hometown fans. Winners include Robert Hernandez in the main event. Hernandez from Hesperia, preceded by Raul Hernandez, fastest win of the night, a TKO 28 seconds into his fight. Photos courtesy of MMA Fights photographer Mike Phillips. Go to HighDesertMMA.com to see all of Mike Phillips' photos from Bitter Rivals. It would be hard to top the entertainment and excitement level and caliber of striking and grappling action for the 1,500 fight fans in attendance. Only one of the 13 bouts goes to decision. Hesperia, mother of three, Casey Brower, wins her debut bout. Referee Mike Beltran raises her hand. Brower trained at Cage Combat Academy for all of four weeks before this event. For those of you who don't know you, and I just learned a little history about you as well, how long have you been training in martial arts? Well, all right, let's be a little bit more exact. How long were you training total for this fight? The first local fighter on the Bitter Rivals card, Albert Vallos of Pinion Hills in red trunks, going up against undefeated Daniel Hearns. The Cage Combat Academy fighter, Vallos, wins by a guillotine choke in the second round. Referee Frank Tiggs, the call. All right, well, when we talked before the fight at the weigh-ins, you talked about dominating every round. Do you feel you came in with your game plan? This matchup guaranteed a local winner, Isaac Gonzalez of Cobra Kai against Ignacio Perez of Global Force Fitness. The 166 pound Gonzalez with red tape at wrists and ankles wins by guillotine choke, 28 seconds into round three. Sultana graduate and California Kingdom fighter Ryan Fillingham, ultimate pre-fight sacrifice. He dyed his hair for this CFL debut. Now that is dyed in the wool dedication. <laughs> Serious dedication. Cecilia Perez in the black trunks goes blow to blow with undefeated Daria Baranado before this hard punch at the end of round two renders Perez unable to continue. Referee Mike Bell calls it. This the CFL debut for the Barstow girl out of Cobra Kai. Eric Custodio of Apple Valley and Cage Combat Academy credits his mustache with being the difference maker. Right now, how does it feel? Uh, 
that goes to judge's decision, Danny Chermonte. Decisions, Sean Collins. The White Tiger martial arts fighter out of Hesperia won his CFL debut in similar manner at the No Guts, No Glory event in October. Among the many facets, in effect, pieces falling in place, if you will, contributing to the ultimate success of the CFL program, matchmaker Jason Glazer pitted opponents of equal talent, making for bouts being decided in the cage, not going to decision. Video guru James Trotter of JT Media headed the production team. That touch of class and professionalism beyond measure, the presence of the black widow, Lisa King, conducting post-bout interviews, and the magnificent work of ring announcer, Sonny Franco. California Fight League returns to the high desert May 2nd at Mavericks Stadium. <laughs> 